Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, get off me! Jeez! What the hell? Oh my gosh. Oh! Bro! Bro! But yeah, man, we're already midway through season one. Whoa. My God, let's go. Time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So we got a brand new AK-74 U set up for you. And no, you can never have too much of the 74 U. I mean, how many 74 U videos have I posted already? Let's just be real. 74 U is the most versatile weapon in the game. It's got range, little to no recoil, and you can outfit it however you want, whether you want to be a stealth, you want to be aggressive, you want to have max damage, etc. You can pretty much get away with any type of setup and it'll do just great. Eight attachments, five attachments, six perks, you know, three perks, you'll still do good. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be a class setup that I want you guys to try out. So I'm kind of experimenting here and this build, I basically just wanted it to have the fastest bullet velocity possible so that's why we're using the liberator 10.3 inch barrel just try it out trust me smgs in cold war there's nothing more important than bullet velocity because what that is is the time it takes to travel to your target as far as the bullet goes so if you have low bullet velocity for example uh let's say the milano for example your bullet velocity is like you know 300 meters per second now if you take a look at the highlight of the green part here, it's got 1,000 meters per second. Now to put that into perspective, it's about the same as an assault rifle. So that is why, you know, you melt your opponents faster when you have more bullet velocity because when you shoot, it instantly hits your opponent, therefore resulting in a faster time to kill, obviously. You know, you don't need to lead your shots. It's just point and shoot and bam right away. So that's why you should try out this barrel if you haven't yet. And let me know if you feel a difference or not. Uh, barrel we're gonna be using the bruiser grip so I wanted something with a little more speed so this one is optional obviously you don't have to use it but really no weaknesses in this attachment right here and you do get a little increase in your speed which is gonna help you rush around be a little bit more aggressive etc etc without any cons to it all right so the next attachment we're gonna be using is the VDV 50 round fast mag pretty much self-explanatory there we just want as much ammo as possible and then to reload it as fast as possible um, then the, the handle is going to be the Gru Elastic Wrap. This one's going to give us the most aim down sight time. Now for the stock, we're using the KGB Skeletal Stock. So this one I really like, obviously, because of that boost in sprint to fire time, as well as that aim walking movement speed. So secondary, I'm just using the Diamatis here. Uh, just a quick run through of what I'm using. I'm using the Muzzle Brake, Reinforce Heavy, Mounted Flashlight, 24 round Speed Mag, Serpent Wrap. So. I'm kind of just like playing around with attachments here until I finally get it maxed out. Uh, then here's my tactical lethal field upgrade and my perks right here. All right, so I'm really curious here and I will pin the comment of whoever gets the most upvotes on their answer in the comment section down below. So basically, I am genuinely wondering what is your second go-to if you are not gonna use the AK-74 U. I'm really curious what people have to say of what is the second best gun in the game after the 74 U. Leave your comments down below and whoever gets the most upvotes, obviously do those people do agree with you and I will pin your comment. Uh, so yeah guys, leave a like on this video. If you're all about good vibes and subscribe if you're brand new around here, join Turbo Nation today. What are you waiting for, man? We gotta make it official. And I'll see you guys in the gameplay, let's go. Oh, okay, mama. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Why do people talk and then when I talk, nobody says anything? But anyways, we got some stuff to talk about anyways, man. Breaking news. My code turbo at gfuel.com is now 30% off until January 18th. If you use my code and you actually buy something, you show me a screenshot either on Instagram or Twitter, I will follow you back for supporting Turbo Nation. All right, I'm back to the video. We're using this AK-74U setup 100%. You guys clicked on this video because you guys like using the AK-74U. So we got to talk about some variety here, man. I want you guys to leave a comment down below. What is one of your second options after the 74U? I'm really curious what people say. There needs to be some variety in this game. 
or else this game is going to get really old quickly. They need to buff other weapons for sure and stop nerfing the overpowered weapons. Just make them just as overpowered. You know, we need variety. Bruh. Oh, there he is. He's talking now. But yeah, in my opinion, if they were to buff... If they were to buff the Milano, I think that would be perfect. Buff the Milano. Make the KSP a little bit more viable. Oh, shoot. Wow! What was that? Whoa! I gotta use those Diamatis. I might get shot in the back. I have a feeling I will. Oh my gosh. Oh! Bro! Bro! So, I mean, that's why you've seen me post a lot of 74U videos. And on top of that, I just plainly like the 74U. Oh, I'm dead here. I'm dead. Yes, I at least got somebody. All right, cool. But yeah, man, we're already midway through season one. Whoa. My God, let's go. Yeah, we're only midway through season one and, you know, I'm already getting bored of the game, honestly. Like, we need some variety for sure. Oh, oh my. Let's go. Di <sighs> Bruh. My game just froze. God. Yo, shout out to the John what? clan. What? Let's get it. That first game was just kind of a blah, blah, blah. Uh, but yeah, I just had to get that off my chest. You know what I'm saying? That's the great thing about the same for you. Like no matter what you do to it, it is still a pretty dang good weapon. Let's just be real here. That's why it's so popular. You know, focus. Oh boy. Let's reload this. No. Okay. You want to do that? You want to use that smoke? I'm good. I don't want the smoke. I don't want no smoke. Thank you, teammate. There's one more. I got you, teammate. Let's go. Someone right here in the middle. But yeah, uh, something that I did also want to point out. You guys, one shot. Whoa, 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 spawns a flip. Well, yeah, one thing I did want to point out was that back in the day, duh, back in the day, man, in my day, when I was like 20 years old, we're talking 10 years ago, man. Or, okay, let, let's take it back to BO3. BO3, for example. BO3 was one of the best Call of Duties because literally almost every gun in the game was pretty dang good. There was, there was room for a variety. It, the content was so much better because you see me using different, different guns. Um, yeah, just go back to my black ops three content and, uh, you'll see, I mean, yes, there were some guns that were better than others, but for the most part, a lot of the guns were pretty good and there needs to be more variety. You know, I don't know what's going on with, uh, you know, Modern Warfare and this year's Call of Duty. But, you know, I just had to air that out real quick, you know, because a lot of you guys probably are wondering why uh, YouTubers really only post certain uh, videos. Like, why not no variety? It's simple, simple. If we don't use quote unquote meta weapons, we're just going to get destroyed because the general population is just really using two or three weapons that are the most effective. Damn. But anyways, let's turn up here. Too much talking, man. 
too much talking. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let me chill. I'm dead. Woo! Kill him! Get that out of here. No! As soon as I put down the field mic. Man, the timing is incredible. Oh my god. Bro, what's... I, I cannot aim. Is that a glitch man with a smoke screen glitch? Gonna make this comeback. Ooh. Give me that spy plane, man. I need that. Give me the hookup. Yo, where's this? I got you, teammate. I got you. I got your back. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, get off me! Jeez! What the hell? <laughs> Bro! Man, it's like, I feel like I'm playing infected here. What the? These dudes are crazy. The, literally the whole John clan. This is all they want to do. I, I, I can't even tell what's going on. I mean, if I had to guess, all their names are John, right? Come through. Watch out for those corner dwellers. Oh, nice shot. Watch my back, dude. I don't trust it. Bam. There he is. Ooh. Come through. Oh, what the? It's kind of a mandatory at this point. Whoa, we, we did it, baby. All right, on to the next. I think I'm finally warmed up. After like 10 games. Oh my goodness. I got a UAV for you. Shoot. You better watch out. Most, some of them are wearing ghosts. Watch your back. Dual Diamantis. Get off me, dude. I'm on a seven. I'm pushing around for the flank. Oh yes, I got a Semtex kill. Got him. Woo! War machine time. Yeah. Harp time. I'm going off, bro. Nobody's stopping me. Oh, baby, I'm on a 16. He's quite literally ending the game. Ah. Yo, what's going on, guys? If you guys are trying to stay connected with me, drop me a follow on Twitter at RealTurboMan right here. Also, if you're on Instagram, I'm also on Instagram as well. Hit me up at RealTurboMan underscore. And lastly, I am on Twitch if you want to catch me live, twitch.tv slash TurboManTTV. Let's get it, baby.